And what up everybody, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel I talk about zines and DIY culture. If you're into print media, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are interested in comic books, you might want to consider getting a subscription to Feral Comics, which is the comic book zine anthology that I publish. And I'm happy to say that we got two new subscriptions today to the Feral Comics Project. Kyle, Sean, thank you so much for subscribing. If I am not mistaken, I think those two homies right there are part of the Scarf Comics Project. So that's just more underground comics showing love to each other. And that's how we build shit, man. So, you know, thank you so much for supporting Feral Comics. And everyone here, man, don't forget, Scarf Comics, support them if you can. Uh, the homie Kyle and Sean are going to be the last two uh, folks to get issue 7 of Feral Comics because that was discontinued today in the morning. It will no longer be printed beyond the two that I just printed for Sean and Kyle. So that's it, y'all. Uh, issue 9 will be dropping in about a week. I have been working on that. And when I work on, uh, when I work on Feral Comics... I normally just start drawing and reading a lot as I'm working on it. I don't know why that seems to be my process. And some of it was uh, images that I got from a zine uh, called Horizontal and Vertical from Adel Soto. So I think it's only right that we go ahead and peep that out real quick. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is Feral Comics issue number seven. This is now discontinued. Kyle and Sean, you guys are going to get the last two issues of this. And so expect that getting shipped out soon. So here we go, you guys. These are the two zines that I want to talk about today. Vertical by Del Soto. And then Horizontal by Del Soto. Now I'm not sure if Adele wants them to be companion pieces, but they work beautifully as companion pieces. One of the things that you can see is the different usage of vertical versus horizontal. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but when I look at this image in vertical, I wouldn't doubt if this is from that same cemetery. And in, in that angle, in that mode, this is what caught Adele's eye. The Another thing that I loved about this, as, as just learning about photography, is the different ways that he uses leading lines, right? This is beautiful for the leading line, the symmetry of it all, right? So that's one, but then when you go through horizontal, look at that. Tell me this is not beautiful because of all the leading lines. And it's just so interesting to see how he uses it, right? The different, uh, and, and that's the point of like, this is a great read or a, a great view to see how an artist is exercising, uh, you know, uh, leading lines, and, and just using the medium of photography in the same setting, but in different ways. And if there's one other piece that I wish would go along with these two, it would be one that is strictly Dutch angles. And I think if that, that three uh, zine set would be amazing for anybody who's into photography to really delve into and look at. I always want my photography zines to have a concept attached to them. And this is a very strong concept. So if you're into photography, if you're into filmmaking, I think this is a showcase of what kind of exercises you should be doing as an artist. And it's fun. This is like looking at someone's sketchbook. So I think this is an amazing scene for anyone that's into film or photography or even art. Right? I know I was sketching out uh, this uh, opening shot right here. I really, really was taken aback by the way this looks, the silhouette of it all. And I was, I was sketching that out my damn self. So, you know, it's good to always look at other artists' sketchbook. And this is what I feel like I'm looking at when I look through this. An artist exercising this himself in this medium and allowing me to glimpse at the way he views his horizontal angles versus his, uh, versus his vertical angles. And that's fun and that's interesting. Adel, man, you never miss, man. Honestly, I'm always... I'm always taking aback at how clever your concepts are. You know, this is such, once again, this is such a clever concept. And I hope that, Adel, you build off of this. And I would love to see the Dutch angle one. So that's Adel Soto's Horizontal and Vertical. Two really dope photography zines. Like I said, it really, it really got me going and just fucking sketching out these, like, areas and, like, 
it's just it was a good it was a good fun exercise for me as an artist to just sketch that shit out. But beyond that, today, man, I really uh, bunkered down and really knocked out some buttons for the homie. He was hella happy about it, so I'm glad that shit came out uh, in, a, in a way that it was beneficial to the homie and myself as well. So that, that always works, right? It's a win-win. And I got hella new subscribers, man. So thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to everyone that's been mentioning me. I've been getting hella mentions and shoutouts on Instagram and on Facebook, and that shit really does help you guys. So as always... Uh, Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know what the fuck we're doing because it really does help. So once again, thank you to the new subscribers. But with that being said, you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.